everyone with Agent of Aniston. My name is Amy, I'm 16, I'm from the UK and I'm a massive Aniston. You mean the world to me and I thought for your birthday I'd tell you why. So I'm going to tell you how I became a fan and maybe some other stuff too. And I just want to say for anyone who's watching, um, in this video I will talk about stuff like exam stress and worry and anxiety. So if if that will trigger any of you watching um i wouldn't watch the part of this video where i talk where i start talking about my exams and gkc's but it's only a small part of the video so if you really want to watch just skip that part first i'm going to talk about how i became a fan of you i think it was like november ish november of 2018 when i started watching friends which is how i became a fan Fun. So I was talking to my brother's girlfriend about what we were watching on Netflix and she said to me Have you seen Friends? And I was like No, she's like you've never seen Friends and I was like No, <laughs> so then she showed me a clip and it was the Joey doesn't share food um, Clip which is like one of my favorite scenes and one of my favorite quotes in the show I started watching it the first episode and I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really enjoy it. Only because I told myself I was not gonna like it and plus I wasn't paying attention that much. I've seen like people walk around with tops that say friends on them and like friends stuff, but I had never watched it. And because I had never watched it, I didn't think it was gonna be good. And I have no idea why because it is literally amazing. It is, it is everything. I was like looking for something to watch. So I went to Netflix and tried to find something and there was nothing that I really felt like watching that I had like, that I know I like. So I was like, okay, I'll watch Friends and I'll see what it's like. I have a few minutes of the first episode left to watch. Yes, jump a few over. I love them so much. Anyways, so yeah, I've got a few minutes of the first episode left to watch. So why don't I just watch it? I watched the last bit of the first episode and then I watched the second episode and I was like, this is actually pretty good, yeah. So then by the end of that day, I had watched, I think up to episode eight. And that's quite a lot to say that it was my first day watching the show, first time and I've watched up to episode eight. I never thought of it as something that I would become obsessed with. I kind of just thought that it'd be like something that I watch once and then not watch again. I watched the first season, pretty funny. I got to the end of season one and that is when I became a true super fan because of what happens with Rachel and Ross at the end. Like it is like It makes you want to cry and why do I now feel like I am going to cry so that's how I became a fan of Jen Jen became my favorite of the whole cast at the end of season one because of that um I guess I just started watching loads of videos of you and friends on YouTube and you just stuck out to me because I find you and then I just thought you were really cool so you became my favorite but I'll tell you more about that um, in a second after I talk about this. So this, I'm going to talk about my GCSEs here and how Jen was a really helpful part of that. So if you um, have suffered with exam stress and if this triggers you, I wouldn't watch part of the video. I skipped to about five to ten minutes after this, five or ten minutes ahead. When it got to the start of 2019, um, is when I was taking my GCC mock exams, which are like the practice exams. I did not do well. That really upset me, really, because I really wanted to do well, and this is a really important thing, especially maths in English. Those were the two that were the most important to me, and are in general the most important because you need them in everyday life. That stressed me out a bit. Maths was always something that I had struggled with, but English wasn't. It confused me a lot when I started struggling with it because I had always been like, okay at English. Like I had always been fine with it, but then in year 10 and 11, which are my two last years of school, I started struggling with it and I was really confused as to why. It got to like the last set of practice exams and that's when 
I started to really get worried and stressed because maths wasn't my biggest worry anymore it was English and I even got moved into a extra class that the English department created for the people who weren't on target to achieve their grade 4 which is the lowest pass in their exam at the end of the year the actual GCSE exam this worried me and I was really worried that I wasn't gonna this really worried me because I was scared that I wasn't gonna pass after English it would be like break and I would cry and I'd like be with my friends and it would like they'd be like you know it's okay like they'd cheer me up and when I went home my friends weren't there to help me out because they were all revising for their exams as well and I was revising as well but like when I had breaks there was something I always had to turn to these guys right over here friends literally was so helpful like they were the friends was the only thing that helped me forget about all the stress I was feeling during that time and like I could forget about it for like the amount of time I spent watching the show and then I could go back to revising and worrying about it but it's always good to help something help you help you forget about it for a few minutes and friends helped me do that so I'm really thankful to all of you to Jennifer, Courtney, Lisa, Matt, Matthew and David for helping me out with that especially Jennifer because I was watching your videos Jen on YouTube and videos of like your interviews and stuff and I just found you really inspiring and you helped me keep going so I really want to thank you for that and that's why you helped me through that um period of my life and now you are a really big part of my life because you inspire me every day you make me believe in my dream of becoming an actress will actually come true one day because it's my passion and it's what I want to do and you mean the world to me because you help me feel better when I'm down and you just keep me smiling and keep me positive you made me see myself in a better way and you just make me really confident in being myself around new people and you are really one of the lights of my life you are my guardian angel because you've helped me through so much I can't thank you enough for everything because it's like I will never be able to explain how much it actually means to me that you've helped me through, that you've helped me um you, ins you inspire me so much and I it's like I'm so thankful. If I try to explain, I'll probably just get a little teary eyed. So, you know, you just mean the whole world to me. And thank you for everything because you're my guardian angel and I love you so much. So, I just want to talk quickly about when I went to Friends Fest. I went with one of my best friends and it was one of the best days of my life. It was so fun and I found out about it when I was at school. And I, I found out it was the 2nd to the 18th of August, I think. I was like, I can go on my birthday because my birthday is on the 12th and I was turning 16. And I was like, okay, I need to go. And we went and it was the best, it was one of the best days ever. We had so much fun. And I sang Smelly Cat on stage. <laughs> it's a jump perk and it was the best thing ever. It was so fun like the show has helped me so much and it literally means so much to me it still helps me today and it will always help me and to feel like i was a part of it was really special i have a fan page on instagram called amy morrow's edits one two three and that is a fan page for all the people i'm a fan of but it's mainly you but i do post other things when there's like an award show coming up so like the golden globes sag awards i always put i i would put a picture of you and then put like why i think you should win the award for alex levy in the morning show which is like the best show ever like i love it so much alex levy and and bradley jackson are they are amazing i love them so much i put one for the sag awards and i put that i have a feeling you will win tonight at the sag awards because you deserve it so much and then i woke up the next morning and totally was like i just woke up 
I was really tired, so my mind wasn't thinking clearly, so the saga words weren't in my head as soon as I woke up. The Good Morning Britain is always on my TV when I come downstairs in the morning because morning shows like that are a really good way to start your day. So I got up and I was looking at the TV, just watching, and then they were talking about the saga words and they didn't mention you. And they'd, and they'd obviously mentioned you like earlier in the morning because you won. So I was like, ugh. Like, I was like, oh, I didn't mention her. So I was like, I guess she didn't win. And then I heard Piers Morgan say something about your speech, Jen giving her speech, and I was like, she won? And I saw you at the second one in hand, and I was like, she won, she won. And I was so happy. And for the rest of the day, I felt like I was gonna cry because I was so happy for you, because I knew, like, I just was so happy. and. I saw videos of you after, like how you like couldn't speak, it was so adorable by the way, how you couldn't speak and then I couldn't, I was like that for the rest of the day, my mind just wasn't right because I was like so happy that you won, I was so happy, it was the best thing ever. I just loved seeing you accept that award and you talked about when you were a little girl and he said, I'm gonna be up there, I'm gonna be like that. That's literally how I look at you. I truly believe I'm gonna be an actress one day. And I'm not saying I'm gonna win an award if I'm an actress or anything like that, but you just really inspire me and I really wanna be an actress one day. And that's big part, that's mostly because of you. Thank you. Because I really feel amazing when I'm acting. But that really inspired me and I'm so happy for you. Quickly, I just wanna jump back to Christmas because um, I got a lot of friends' presents and the best present I had ever received and I just wanna tell you about it. I wish this would have been a surprise, but my dad kind of ruined it for me on Christmas Eve. He was like, so Amy, um, one of your presents is a signed picture from an actress and I was like, Jennifer Aniston. I also like Emma Stone as well so he was probably saying that so I could guess who it was you or Emma Stone and I was like Jennifer Aniston isn't it? I was like just just sign a picture from an actress I was like it's, it's just Jen. I opened it on Christmas morning. I know that it's real because it comes with a certificate of authenticity here and you can see on it I barely ever take it out of this plastic bullet that it came in, but I am today. I don't want to bend it, I'm scared. Okay, anyway, yeah. Um, so, it's a beautiful picture of you, and there is your signature. It is actually there, because it's, oh my god, it's actually there. Why am I bending it? <sighs> yeah, it's like actually there. Like, you've actually signed this. I wonder if you remember signing this piece of paper. Plus card, paper, plus card, paper. It feels like card, just feels like, like like photograph paper. I wonder where this was at. It doesn't have a date, so I can't see what year it was. Year it was. But it says, this certificate is your assurance that this item of memorabilia, which a accomplices that this document has been personally signed personally hand signed by Jennifer Aniston I can read better than that but it's just like this is like very formal and um yeah this authenticity of this autograph is unconditionally guaranteed for life so it's been hand signed by Jennifer Aniston it's crazy this is the best gift that I have ever received, ever, because, like, you mean the world to me, Jen, and that I have this, and that I can see it, and I can see your signature, is crazy, and I'm so happy that I got this. It's the best gift that I have ever received in my whole life. In my whole life. And I also got your perfumes as well. I love them so much. I sometimes spray them when I go to college and this one came with a little um like handbag version so I take that to college with me and I'm just gonna say again thank you for helping me through really hard times thank you for making me believe in myself and my dream and 
and just making me smile in the bad moments and making me confident and just you're my guardian angel and I can't thank you enough for everything you've done for me it's really hard to explain when you're saying it out loud because then like after there's always something else you want to say also posting a birthday edit for Jen on there well, thanks for watching this video please send it around so Jen has the best chance of seeing it tag her in the picture of this on instagram i love you jen if you're watching thank you so much for everything